Have you ever done a million damage to an enemy while safely hiding behind a wall? No? Just me? Well, today's video is all about cheese. Not that kind of cheese, but I'm going to show you how you can use the tech snipers to shoot enemies through walls. And to make that process a little bit easier, we're going to use a particular quick hack so you never have to find them yourself. Let's go. As always, this video is sponsored by me. If you do go on to enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You know, all that good YouTube things. For this build, we are using the quick hack ping at the start of the encounter to identify enemies that are on that network. This will highlight enemies in that location, even through walls. And basically what we're going to do with that information is, you know, sit opposite the street, down the road, wherever you feel like, and safely headshot the enemies from a distance while they freak out and have no idea what's happening. When you do need to get up close and clean up a few kills, there are some solid tech weapons like the Widowmaker that we can use to clean up a few of those kills. However, for the most part, with the ping hack, you can just sit at a distance and clean up enemies without too much of a worry. This build is perfect for the higher difficulties like hard and very hard because you can stay a huge distance away from the fights and take out most of the enemies. The only issue is when you have to get up close, but as long as you have a good weapon and the perks that we need here, you still have the benefits from this build. Let's get into attributes. Now, the primary attributes for this build is reflexes and technical ability, and both should be at 20. We are using a dash of cool and intelligence here, but these don't actually need to be maxed out. Reflexes is used in this build primarily for the increase to your critical hit chance, as well as the benefits to the rifle perks that come from the assault line. We're using technical ability here for all of the benefits to the tech weapons that comes from technical ability, as there are some really good perks in this line that will benefit your tech weapons. We are also using cool for the increases to our critical hit damage as well as some perks in the stealth and a couple of perks in the cold blood line just to really bring this build together. Your starting attributes for this build is reflexes 6, technical ability 6 and cool 4. Let's break down some perks and we're going to start with reflexes and the assault line. They're pretty much most of the perks in this line are going to be beneficial to you but the key ones you want to focus on is bullseye increases rifle and submachine gun damage by 10% while aiming, named bullets to increase your crit damage with rifles and SMGs by 35%, bullet jock increase damage with rifles and submachine guns by 3%, Nerves of Steel increase headshot damage with sniper rifles and precision rifles by 20% and Executioner to deal 25% more damage with rifles and submachine guns to enemies whose health is above 50% and most enemies will be as we're going to be one-shotting them. Every perk that I mentioned, if it does have extra levels, you should be maxing that perk out and there is a couple of other points in the assault line that you can get which are really beneficial to sitting behind cover which in a lot of cases because we can set up in this build really wherever you like, you can be sitting behind cover and that is trench warfare to increase rifle and smg damage by five percent when firing from behind cover savage stoic to increase damage with rifles and smgs by 35 percent when standing still and bunker to increase armor and resistances by 15 percent when shooting with rifles and submachine guns from behind cover so really when you are setting up for the fight use your ping then try and find a cover location and sit there and then just wipe out the enemies you're going to be doing a ton of damage anyway so it's not a big deal if you can't find a bunker where you can sit however it just will help maximize your damage potential and now into technical ability there is a fair few perks in the engineering line that really focus on tech weapons the key ones you should get is f all walls reduces the charge amount needed for tech weapons to penetrate walls by 30 percent gun whisperer fully charged tech weapons do not shoot automatically this is so you can hold that shot so you can line up the bullet Lightning Bolt increases critical hit chance with tech weapons by 3%. Lickety Split tech weapon charge time is reduced by 10%. Tesla increases the charge multiplier for tech weapons by 15% up to 11 allows you to charge tech weapons up to 75 percent capacity superconductor tech weapons ignore armor and uber charge fully charged tech weapons deal 50 percent more damage these are the main ones in the technical ability line you need to focus on superconductor and uber charge are some of the most critical as well as f the walls because ignoring armor is super valuable as well as fully charged weapons dealing more damage because we are going to be shooting a fully charged tech weapon pretty much all the time so this is a really valuable perk to pick up in the intelligence line, there is one specific perk which I would highly suggest to pick up, and that is signal support. It increases quick hack duration by 25%. This will increase the duration of your ping, and so you don't have to keep resetting it if it does run out and you don't kill the enemies in time. 
In the cool line, there is a fair few perks that really benefit this build and bring it all together. In the stealth line, sniper increases damage from headshots fired from outside combat by 30%. Strike from the shadows increases your crit chance by 15% while sneaking. So you should always be sneaking when you are way in the distance and just make sure you're crouched to deal that damage. From the shadows, upon entering combat, crit chance increases by 25% for seven seconds. And assassin, so you deal 15% more damage to human enemies. Now, there is a couple of perks in the cold blood line which you can pick up if you do have the spare points the cold blood main perk is a must-have so you can actually get the benefits and the frozen precision perk increases your headshot damage by 50 percent when cold blood is active so that again just makes your headshots deal a ridiculous amount of damage and this is how we're getting those over 1 million damage numbers that you can see in some of the footage let's talk equipment now for your armor the main thing you need to focus on is your critical hit chance and your critical hit damage any armor mods that you can buy or craft that benefit these values should be your focus however there is a high cap to these values they will increase up to a certain point for weapons the key here is the neko mata tech sniper rifle which you can get the legendary crafting spec when you do get your crafting skill to 18 you will just get this crafting spec so you can make the rifle just without having to do anything it just comes automatically there is also a iconic tech sniper rifle that you can find called breakthrough which you will see here that you can find on the map you just basically need to go to this location clear out all the enemies and one of them will have the crafting spec on them. In terms of cyberware, anything that buffs your critical hit damage and critical hit chance is important. However, the only mod that is a must have is the threat detector mod for your optics. This automatically highlights enemies who have detected you. This is a must so that you don't have to keep resetting your ping as well as knowing where enemies are from a distance. Now in terms of some build tips. So the key focus here is really to keep your distance, focus on pinging enemies and then sniping them. If you do have to get close, switch to like a tech rifle I love the Widowmaker. It's a fantastic precision tech rifle that you can get relatively early on. If your ping runs out, just reset it. Find something to target. It doesn't actually have to be an enemy. It just has to be something on that network. So it could be a camera, could be anything else that's around there and just ping that and it should mark all the enemies for you. In order to shoot walls, you do need to charge your tech weapons. So make sure that you are holding it down, charging the weapon, and then it should go through walls. I have had some instances where it won't go through every kind of wall and I have had to move a little bit closer. However, for the most part, you can keep your distance as far back as you like and just ping away and you should be fine. As we have a high technical ability, you can spec into the crafting perks and I do recommend it if you do have the perk points available. You can increase your damage output by some of the perks in here, as well as allowing you to craft higher variants of guns that you're using, including the Nekamata Tech Sniper Rifle that I mentioned earlier. Don't forget to mod your weapons as well. Modding is super important for any weapon really, but just make sure you are putting mods on your weapons and crafting mods that you may have just to increase your damage potential. If you're looking for more content why not check out my top five rpgs of 2020 there is some relatively controversial opinions in that video which i'm very interested to see what you guys think about and please follow me on twitter instagram and on twitch where i stream two days a week tuesday thursday australian night times hope to see you guys there in the next stream thank you for watching this video my name is norza and i hope you have a great day